Dear Eugenia, I've been thinking about your overall health and well-being, and I wanted to share a suggestion that I believe could greatly benefit you. I've noticed that you've been spending a lot of time on your phone and watching television, and while these activities can be enjoyable, it's important to find a balance. Engaging in extracurricular activities can be incredibly rewarding for both your physical and mental development. Whether it's joining a sports team, taking up a creative hobby, or participating in a club at school, these activities can help you stay active, learn new skills, and make meaningful connections with others. I believe that by diversifying your interests and dedicating some time to these activities, you'll not only feel healthier, but also have a more well-rounded and fulfilling life. Remember, it's all about finding that balance that allows you to enjoy your electronic devices while also exploring the world beyond the screen. I'm here to support you in any way I can, so feel free to talk to me about your interests and how we can make this positive change together. One especially significant day in United States history is July 4th, known as Independence Day. On this date in 1776, the Second Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence, formally announcing the 13 American colonies' decision to break away from British rule. On this day, people across the nation celebrate with patriotic fervor. The celebrations typically include fireworks, parades, barbecues, concerts, and various community events. The American flag, also known as the Stars and Stripes, is prominently displayed, and people often dress in red, white, and blue the colors of the flag. Fireworks displays are a hallmark of Independence Day celebrations, lighting up the night sky with dazzling colors and patterns. Parades feature marching bands, military units, and floats adorned with patriotic themes. Families and friends gather for picnics and barbecues, enjoying traditional American foods such as hamburgers, hot dogs, and apple pie. The significance of this date lies in its role as a pivotal moment in American history.
In the vivid scene captured in the picture, a bustling street unfolds before our eyes. The street is alive with activity as people go about their daily routines, creating a vibrant tapestry of urban life. Cars and a yellow bus navigate the road, mingling with pedestrians who traverse the sidewalks. Children bring in joy and playfulness to the scene, cycling along the road, playing with a football near a car, and engaging in spirited games in front of houses. A lady observes from a balcony while couples stroll and sit on benches, soaking in the atmosphere. A pram rests by one couple, a symbol of tender care. Amidst this lively spectacle, a lady carefully crosses the road with a child, while a father holds his child's hand by a gate. The bus stop shelters passengers, and the sky is adorned with the graceful flight of birds. This picture encapsulates the dynamic harmony of city life, where everyday moments weave together into a captivating urban symphony. In the captivating snapshot depicted, the bustling street scene is poised to continue its enchanting narrative. The vivid tapestry of urban life is likely to persist, with the harmonious interplay of pedestrians, vehicles, and children evoking an ongoing symphony of activity. The lady observing from the balcony might find herself drawn on into the scene, while couples meandering along might pause for a tender moment on one of the benches. The children's spirited games could escalate into a joyful crescendo, enveloping the surroundings in an aura of exuberance. As time unfolds, the lady carefully guiding the child across the road may encounter new adventures, and the father's protective grip on his child's hand may lead to further explorations by the gate. The bus stop will undoubtedly continue to serve as a hub for passengers, and the graceful flight of birds in the sky might herald the arrival of an unexpected event, adding a touch of poetic intrigue to the bustling cityscape.
Dear friend, I am thrilled to help you find the perfect birthday gift for your daughter. And after careful consideration, I believe the Mantis or Not a Kids bike would be the ideal choice. Not only does it offer an excellent introduction to biking for beginners, but its sturdy construction with a 12 inch steel frame and steel fork ensures durability and safety. The white mountain bike tires mounted on aluminum rims provide a smooth and comfortable ride, while the coaster brake on the rear wheel guarantees easy stopping. The padded handlebar and stem add an extra layer of comfort, making it a great option for your daughter's enjoyment. At just $96, it combines quality and affordability seamlessly. I'm confident that the Mantis Ornata will bring joy to your daughter's birthday celebration and provide her with countless fun-filled adventures. Dear friend, I genuinely appreciate your thoughtful suggestion of the Glurk Little Molly as a potential birthday gift for his daughter. However, after a thorough comparison, I am still inclined to believe that the Mantis Ornata Kids bike stands as the more suitable choice. The Mantis Ornata not only offers a solid foundation for bikes with its 12-inch steel frame and steel fork, ensuring durability and safety, but also guarantees a comfortable ride with white mountain bike tires on aluminum rims and a convenient coaster brake for easy stopping. The thoughtful addition of a padded handlebar and stem further enhances the riding experience. Moreover, at a price of just $96, it seamlessly combines quality and affordability. While the Glurk Little Molly boasts a premium build, eye-catching design, and growing kid accommodation, the Mantis Ornata encompasses these qualities too, while maintaining a more budget-friendly price point at $96, compared to the $110 of the Glurk Little Molly. I am confident that the Mantis Ornata will not only bring joy to his daughter's birthday celebration, but also provide her with numerous delightful adventures.
Hey Daniel, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk to you about something important. As you know, our co-worker Jameson is leaving, and it's important for us to give them a memorable farewell to show our appreciation for all their hard work and contributions. Since you have a great knack for organizing events and bringing people together, I thought you would be the perfect person to handle the arrangements for their farewell. Your creativity and attention to detail would ensure that we give Jameson a wonderful send-off. I understand that you have a lot on your plate, but if you could take on this responsibility, it would mean a lot to all of us. Additionally, on the same day, my father will be handing me some crucial paperwork related to my house's legal affairs, and I would really appreciate your support in managing both these matters on that day. I'm confident that with your expertise, you can organize an amazing farewell for Jameson, and your help with my personal matter would be a huge relief for me. Hey, Dad, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to discuss something important with you. As you know, one of the co-workers is leaving our team, and we're planning a farewell for him at work. The same day you mentioned that you'll be handing me some essential paperwork relating to our house's legal affairs. Considering that both events are happening on the same day, I was able to manage everything effectively. Since my elder brother Jack has experience with legal matters and paperwork, I thought it might be a good idea to involve him in handling the house-related paperwork. His expertise would ensure that everything is properly managed, and it would also free me up to focus on organizing the farewell for co-worker, Jameson. I believe that involving Jack would not only make the paperwork process smoother, but also help me ensure that Jameson gets the farewell he deserves. Your support in this would be greatly appreciated, and I think it would alleviate a lot of the stress from managing both tasks on the same day. Could we reach out to Jack and discuss this possibility with him? I'm sure here his assistance would make a significant difference. The effectiveness of different learning approaches varies based on individual preferences, subjects, and learning styles. Self-study empowers learners with autonomy over their pace and focus, promoting critical skills such as self-discipline and time management. However, it demands strong intrinsic motivation and effective study strategies to overcome challenges and potential isolation. On the other hand, learning from an instructor offers structured guidance, immediate clarification of doubts, and curated resources, enhancing understanding and engagement. The social element fosters collaboration, discussion, and exposure to diverse perspectives. Nonetheless, this approach might limit flexibility and might not suit those who prefer independent exploration.
In essence, both approaches possess merits and drawbacks. An optimal strategy often involves a balance between self-driven learning and guided instruction, adapting to the context and the learner's nature. While self hones personal responsibility and adaptability, learning from instructors imparts expert insights and cultivates interactive skills. An adaptive stance that integrates elements from both approaches allows individuals to capitalize on their strengths and address their weaknesses, fostering comprehensive and enduring learning experiences. Hey, Dad. I had quite an interesting find today while I was at the store. I came across this really unique item that I think you might find intriguing. It's a wall safe disguised as an electrical outlet. The thing is, I couldn't take any photographs, so I'll do my best to describe it to you. So, from the outside, it looks just like a regular electrical outlet that you might see on a wall. But here's the catch. Inside, there's a secret compartment... It's actually quite spacious, big enough to hold various valuables. The design is pretty clever. It's meant to fool even the smartest thief. The locking mechanism is the real highlight. It's designed to resemble a normal screw, so it's not obvious that there's a hidden compartment. This means that someone can't just flip it open without unscrewing it, just like you would with a regular outlet. It adds an extra layer of security and secrecy. I'm really intrigued by this item, and I think it could be a really cool addition to our home security setup. Before I make a purchase, I wanted to get your thoughts on it. Do you think it's a good idea to invest in something like this? Let me know what you think.